In this video, we'll take a look at the type of reaction for Li plus H2O, lithium plus water. So as we look at it, we see we have a metal here, single compound, and then we have just this elemental hydrogen. So on either side, we have something by itself. So we're thinking this will be a single replacement reaction. It might be easier to think of H2O, not as H2O, but as HOH, when you have water in a single replacement reaction. So here's our HOH. And what will happen is the lithium, which forms positive ions because it's a metal, hydrogen here it forms positive ions as well. Lithium comes in and it pushes the hydrogen out. So now the hydrogen is by itself, but hydrogen is always going to be H2 when it's by itself. So the lithium ends up with the OH. That's our lithium hydroxide. So the lithium, that replaces the hydrogen. That makes this a single replacement reaction. If we look at the charges here, on the lithium hydroxide, lithium has a one plus charge and then the hydroxide ion, that's one minus. So this is the correct formula for lithium hydroxide. So this is the equation and it's already balanced. But we do need to make sure this reaction actually takes place. Is lithium active enough to push the hydrogen out by itself and then bond to the hydroxide? So we can look at the activity series of the metals to figure that out. As we go down our list, Lithium is not listed on this very brief activity series. It's actually right here. Lithium is right after sodium. So if we look down, we have our lithium right after sodium, and then hydrogen is way down here. So what this tells us is that elements at the top are more reactive. Lithium is more reactive than hydrogen, so lithium can push the hydrogen out, and this reaction takes place as we've written it here. This is Dr. B with the type of reaction for lithium plus H2O. Thanks for watching.